with several candidates in narrow races, this weekend marks an urgent final push to get last minute voters to head to the polls on Election Day. CBS 2's V Win explains from the Loop super site where early voting begins in about an hour. V. Good morning, Suzanne. This is just one of several places where people can early vote through Monday, but with days until the midterm election, and it's going to be a very busy weekend for candidates in several races, including Illinois governor and the 14th congressional district. Governor, big Republican you. incumbent yeah. Bruce Rauner and the lieutenant governor spent the past week on a statewide bus tour. Rauner is trying to reach as many people as possible and even launched a new campaign ad. New poll numbers show his opponent, Democrat J.B. Pritzker, leading by double digits. Former President Obama will campaign with Pritzker tomorrow at EYC, along with Lauren Underwood. She is running against Republican incumbent Randy Holtgren for the 14th Congressional District. Holtgren, this week campaigned with House Speaker Paul Ryan at a GOP rally in Spring Grove, Illinois. As candidates continue to rally for support this weekend, the clerk's office says it has seen a record turnout for early voting in suburban Cook County. So far, more than 190,000 people have cast their ballots in person, and that's not including the mail ballots. Meanwhile, a rally in what's being called March to the Midterms will take place today at Federal Plaza at 11. That event is being organized by March for our live Chicago. We know that several speakers will take the stage to try to motivate people to vote this November. Reporting live in the loop, V Win, CBS 2 News. Suzanne, back to you. Thanks so much, V.